Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over um, some setups that we have taken in the previous streams with the one minute strategy. So if you're trading the one minute strategy, for example, and you want to, um, you know, follow along with the streams, get involved, all that kind of stuff, uh, we stream every single day. So make sure you, you hit the subscribe button so that you get notifications when we go live. Um, and yeah, you can come in, say hi, we do all the trading live, don't take any trades off stream. So if you're interested in that, then make sure to come and say hi. But basically in this video, I'm going to be reviewing uh, two of our trades that we've taken during the streams of last week. Um, tomorrow I will be making a full strategy video uh, for the one minute strategy. So if you're, you know, missing some things or um, a little bit confused, no problem. Uh, there will be a video coming out tomorrow where I'll cover everything. Um, so yeah, no problem uh, about that. Uh, so basically, what I've done is taken some of the clips from the stream, kind of speed them up a little bit to make it go a bit faster. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to be talking through kind of my process, what I'm thinking, um, and how everything's kind of playing out. So the things that I might not say on stream, I'm basically just going to be going over what I'm thinking during that time so that you can get a good idea of, of uh, everything. So if we just kind of play the video right now, um, you can see on the left hand side, we've got GBP USD. On the right hand side, we've got GBP JPY. I'm looking at GU right now um, on left hand side, and we've basically got a high up there and we're, we're pushing up. We've just broken it right now. And all I'll be doing is waiting for a retest of that level where that green line is, so I've just placed. Um, I'll be waiting for a retest of that to come down and then um, to basically look for a buy on this. Um, so as you can see, we're still pushing up. I'm just waiting. I'm not entering any trades. I'm not kind of, um, I'm not rushing the process. Um, and in both of these trades, actually, there's something that we can learn. So in both of these, um, in both of these trades, there is something, there is a takeaway from both of these trades. Um, so basically I'll, I'll explain that when, you know, the time actually comes. Um, but yeah, you can see right now, um, it is starting to kind of turn. Uh, we, we've had, I know that the charts are quite small, um, but we have had uh, a down candle now and we're starting to come back into that area so right now after this bullish candle that's when we enter the trade and it's a really really nice bullish candle it looks really really nice um, but the takeaway from this trade was that the entry candle and the retest was in the same candle which is not the best so bang we're in the trade we're in it um, and you know I think if you're if you're a very very aggressive trader doing trades like this is not going to be a problem but I think because of the the way that the entry candle happens this is a trade that we should not have taken um, the reason for that is because we we want the retest to actually you know, close at least close to the actual level that we're looking at. And here it was a little bit shy of that. And then the entry candle gapped down, moved down a little bit, and the wick was actually hitting that level. Um, so from now on, I think something that we're going to have to do is to be really, really harsh on the judgment whether the touch of that level is good enough. Um, because if you... You know, if you get a good retest and we get that entry candle like we did before, then that's a that's an amazing trade. Bang, we're in, and it probably um, would have had a better outcome. Whereas now we're in it, and this trade ends up being a loser, and we've got I don't know a few a few more seconds left on this before it hits stop loss. Um, and yeah, it, it's just one of those trades. Both of these trades were losing trades. Um, this, this well both of these trades were our first two trades on the account so the first trade was a loser second trade was a loser if we get a third loser next week 
then I am expecting the trade after that to be a winner because that's the average that we that we have. Um, so yeah, this trade is done. Going into the next trade now, we can see again GBP USD on the left, GBP U, uh, JPY on the right, and um, yeah, during this stream because there wasn't really much going on, we were also testing indicators. Um, so Falk had actually uh, been, uh, created an indicator for us which is basically like a checklist and is a checklist where if you you know have xyz or xyz on um certain things with the one minute strategy you will then get kind of a score out of 10. the minimum was five the maximum was 10. that is actually available on patreon if you want to have access to everything that i'm doing in terms of indicators and all that kind of stuff future updates on indicators um, go into the description, click on the Patreon link and sign up. Uh, you'll be able to get access to all of those kind of indicators that are available there. So this trade is a GBP JPY trade. It's the right hand chart. Um, you can see we've broken above this high. It's a really, really nice break, clean break, clean high as well. We come back down um, in a few minutes and yeah, we get a really, really nice entry on that. Um, so I'll just let this play out and then we can we can get into a trade so right now what all I'm thinking is which trade is going to be better GU or GJ um, and right now you can see GJ is pushed down and on GU we haven't pushed down um, so therefore GJ is a better entry and we do see a wick that hits that zone and in, I say it in the stream as well. Um, I want this next candle to come further down. Um, I would prefer it to test and kind of close in and around that zone, but it doesn't. Again, this is another problem, right? We should not be taking trades that do not meet exact requirements because yes, it's a good trade. Yes, we have wicks that are um, hitting our level, but we do not have an exact trade. We need these things to be closing closer, I think. Maybe we need to do it where it closes below that line instead of just a wick below that line. So, next candle. Yes, it closes bullish, but it doesn't close bullish enough. The actual body of the candle needs to be a good size to make sure that we get a good entry. And on this one, it's a very, very small body, so I'm not looking to enter that. Okay, this next candle is much, much bigger um candle size and we enter the trade right we're now in the trade um it's looking good we've got all the things that are kind of um working well with that trade um and then it just kind of turns and uh unfortunately hits stop loss as well i think that you know both of these trades on another day would have hit tp and you know it's just one of those things it's just one of the things where you know you don't take a perfect trade and they both hit stop loss. On another day, you, you take an imperfect trade and they both hit TP. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, yeah, so I think overall, we it wasn't the best trading that we, we could have done, but it wasn't the worst. You know, the, both of these setups technically were correct, but you know, when you're getting into those fine, fine details, it really does matter the uh, the kind of the way that that setup is produced, right? So the setup was produced correctly or technically correct, but the actual um, quality of it was not great. So that's something that we need to think about in the future. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. This again was a losing trade, and um, unfortunately, you know, we are down. So. I hope you've enjoyed this little bit of a review of last week's trading. If you have, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you want to catch these streams every single day and keep updated with the account. Hope you have a good day. I will see you in the next video.